I am told that higher taxes on the wealthy destroy jobs. Now, I have a little difficulty swallowing this notion that the whole reason that people with millions or billions of dollars are not hiring is that they just can't afford to because they don't have enough money. How much is enough? But this aside, when Clinton was president, he signed into law legislation raising taxes on the wealthy to 39.5%. And this did not coincide with any significant change in the unemployment rate. Later, Bush came along and signed into law legislation lowering taxes on the wealthy. And this, too, did not coincide with any significant change in the unemployment rate. And if you don't believe me on this, you can look it up and see for yourself. Now, it's not as if the amount the wealthy have paid in taxes throughout any given country's history has been steady. Sometimes they've paid more and sometimes less. So if higher taxes on the wealthy destroy jobs, and lower taxes on the wealthy create jobs, then there should be an observable correlation between taxation on the wealthy and the unemployment rate. Where does this correlation manifest in the historical record?